Hello. This creature I am calling the Siphon Animal because I am terrible with names. If you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment. Uh, or any or any other comments about its biology. I love talking biology, and you can do that on any of my other videos. A lot of good biology. This creature lives uh, in a thick atmosphere of a faraway planet, and what it does is it uh, it siphons in the atmosphere in, in some of its valves and expels it out the other valves as like little jets, so it moves around. And you'll notice it has, on the ends of its tentacles, it's got nine openings, and then on its main body it has four openings. And any opening can be either an intake or an outtake, or output, you know. A valve and it and this way it moves itself around and stays aloft in the thick atmosphere uh it's, it's very light too so it actually there's a lot of buoyancy because the atmosphere is so thick it's it's not quite as thick as water maybe maybe a third as thick as water but still uh it doesn't take much to keep something like this aloft And it can also use its tentacles to create suction with those valves uh, to hold on to objects. It can cling to walls and just hold itself there. Or it can pick up rocks, turn them over, so it can get to the dust underneath that hasn't blown away already. Because any dust traveling through its body in the air, there's radioactive grains that it filters out, and that's actually how it powers itself. Uh, now it still needs to eat organic compounds to repair and build up its body, but for energy it mostly relies on uh, radioactive minerals. And, um, well, now this, uh, if you like this creature, it is available on shirts and mugs and other merchandise at wayoutlife.com. You can go check that out if you want, and if you don't want to, Go check it out anyways. Uh, anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.